CNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's up 65. The Russell's up 12. Trading's are up 316 points. That's a 2% move. Uh, S&P is flat. NASDAQ is not flat. It's down 65 points or 4 tenths percent. Semis are up 1 and 2 tenths percent. 52-point move there. You've got gold trading up 9 bucks. Silver's up 11 pennies. Lights we crude up 29 cents. Natural gas off 6 pennies. 30-year Treasury printing up uh, 12025. That's up 21 ticks. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand corner of the ES mini. What do we have here? We still have price trade above the top of its daily profile. That is a bullish signal out there. Only getting back underneath 49.39 might suggest otherwise. If we look at that spot volatilics, it is trading below its 50-day exponential moving average, the 50-day, printing out at 13.63. The spot fix at 13.59. A close below 13.63 will suggest that buyers are the one that have the edge. The NQ still has its roadsman indicator top. Price is now back underneath the top of its daily profile. Watch at 17.683 area. If price closes below that, it could signal a move to 17.351 to 17.462. U.S. dollar index just take a little bit of a breather while it's on its way to the 104.66 level. That's the bottom of its daily profile. We have gold and silver trading in between rising and falling trend lines out there. Also, we've got some profile silver's found support at the bottom of its daily profile at 22.37. If we take a look at light speed crude out here, light speed crude also trading between a rising and a falling trend line. We can see there's also a new profile that is formed now. Uh, light Speed crude has been below the bottom of its bullish daily, bullish structure daily profile for two consecutive sessions. When you get that, you have a profile change in trend. The other thing that you get is that if it, the move higher is only a counter trend move, where price will find resistance is either at the bottom, but more likely in between the bottom and that center portion. The center portion is 73.91. That area has been rejected. The high today has been 73.74. Now, price uh, still is holding that rising trend line, but if it does fall, we're headed back to the December lows with regard to light speed crude. We don't have that signal just yet. Natural gas, we're still waiting for a weekly signal to suggest that it's a buy price trading below the bottom of its daily profile that can always lead to lower price and the 30-year treasury just a consolidation did find support in its buy zone its buy zone was between 119.23 and 127.17 folks stay tuned for the trader Z show but if you have to start your tuesday please have a terrific one thanks for joining us we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon take care now